Hello my beautiful besties, it's the girl Nelly. If you're part of my nail crew, welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now and become part of my amazing nail crew. This video is another hard gel overlay video. As you can see, I desperately need a change. It's been about four weeks, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have any lifting, and if I do, it's very, very little. I did have just a tiny area where it was lifting but because of the lighting it was just impossible for you to see it was on this nail right here so I didn't even try to show it to you because it was pointless you weren't going to be able to see it so for my um the products that I'm going to be using I'm going to be using these set gel nail products as you know they are my favorite I use them on my natural nails all the time it's actually the only product that i use on my natural nails that's how much i love it as you can see it has worked beautifully i did record the entire um prep um the entire prep <laughs> so uh to be helpful also you're gonna need this three items the dehydrator the shiny top coat and the base coat the rubber base which is very very important i'm also going to be using the brush it's also from her website this one is number four you can definitely check out her website i will make sure to leave that link in the description box i do not have a personal code for you guys but she does sales all the time also i'm going to be using tammy taylor's 100 grit file i love it it is amazing and i definitely recommend it so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start by gaining back my shape as you can see they look horrible um they i lost the shape completely and that really happens very often believe it or not and it's completely normal so my nails tend to curve a little bit and I like my nails straight. So that's the reason why I'm filing in this direction right now. I'm just trying to keep my nails straight and I'm also going to reduce the length. So it was a little hard for me to record this part. So you're gonna see that it jumps from this length and quickly you're gonna see that it's shorter because I had to do it off camera. Here I'm just cutting down the length because I like to do my sets on top of this product and it's also helpful for me to work um, the length. Uh, so this is what it's gonna look like so far. Um, I'm gonna repeat the process on the rest of the nails off camera. But the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the gel polish. This I'm gonna use a safety bit. It is, um, I think a fine grit, if I'm not mistaken. I purchased this a very long time ago. <laughs> So what I'm just doing here is just removing that gel polish. Um, I will use this same drill um, drill bit, I'm sorry, the same drill bit to remove part of the bulk because when you um, make your nails shorter, you tend to have a lot of product on what's now your new free edge. So you want to make sure that because you're doing an overlay, the nails are not supposed to look thick at all so the more natural your nail looks the better it's gonna look so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over that free edge area and I'm just going to start removing a little bit of that bulk another reason for that is because I'm going to apply new product so because I'm applying new product I don't really want the nails bulky so I'm gonna try to uh, not apply too much so that it looks but you're gonna see the application went really really well um, and I did use my little hack that I will show you when it's time so here I'm just repeating the same process and I will be right back I do want to apologize for every time the camera is not focusing. I'm very truly sorry, but I am focusing on my nails because I have a sharp, very, very sharp item on my, on my hands right now. So um, what I'm doing is I'm just, I, I switched 
the RPM to, I think it was 15 or 16,000 RPM. And this is to remove the bulk. So here I'm just going over that free edge and making sure it's nice and thin and removing part of the excess of the product. If I had any lifting, this will be a good time to go over that with this drill bit and kind of like remove it. Um, and you can finish removing it when you're prepping your natural nail. At this point, I haven't touched my natural nail at all. I'm just working with the product that I currently have on my nails. And I'm just making sure that it looks nice and thin. I want to take this moment and give my shout out. So shout out to everyone who takes the time to watch my videos. Shout out to everyone who likes, comments, and share my videos. It helps me out a lot here on YouTube. Shout out to everyone who's new to my channel. Welcome to my nail crew, bestie. Thank you so much for joining the crew. And shout out to my lovely and amazing nail sisters. I love you all very, very, very much. So this is when I really start to do my prep. Um, I got most of the hard work out of the way. So I'm going to just push back the cuticles and I'm going to do this very gently. You want to just make sure you just push it up a little bit and try not to cut yourself or your client. Um, that's why I am saying that you have to be very careful um, because this item can easily just slip your hand and just cut yourself or your client so the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna use this bit um i purchased this from red iguana and i love it it's absolutely amazing it helps me out a lot to remove all the that that skin that's on my natural nail plate and i'm using it at around 5,000 rpm every time i work on my natural nails I would always go as far as five to six maximum. 6,000 RPM is the highest that I go when I'm working on my natural nails. So I'm just gonna repeat the same process. This was very satisfying to me, so that's why I left it here for you guys to enjoy. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of my prep routine, if you've done it this way or if you have a different way of doing it. Um, it, I've been doing my nails for quite a while now and it has not failed me. I do have a trick uh, to make sure, to absolutely make sure that that cuticle area is completely flushed from any product. And that is definitely key to help you prevent lifting. So um, once again, I'm just doing this like to all of my nails. Once I'm done with this, I will change to the mandrel bit and I'm going to use, um, I honestly can't remember the grit of that sanding band, but it's sort of like a buffer. It's really, really soft um, and it won't damage your nails. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just changing it and what I'm going to do is I'm still going to use it at five to 6,000 RPMs because once again, that is a hot, that's as high as I go <laughs> so right now I'm just making sure that if I had any lifting that I op probably overlooked I take care of it with this sanding band I'm also going to blend the area where it separates the natural nail to the area that already has product in it it's gonna look very flush um, so that is what I do pretty much. Um, you want to also make sure that once you're done filing, you clean up your nails very, very, very well to the point of not having any dust whatsoever hiding inside of your cuticle area because if that can create lifting. So there's def different, different things that you can do uh, that you might be doing wrong when it comes to doing your nails. It takes practice. It takes time. When you're doing this on your nails, do not rush. There's no need to rush unless you're doing this like at the last minute. Take your time. Sit down, listen to some music, or watch your favorite show as you're doing your nails. Just make sure you concentrate on what you're doing. That will... Um, 
ensure that you will have, you know, a nice application and the better your application, the less filing you have to do. And that's another thing I will show you. Um, my application was really, really nice. So I barely had to do any filing. Um, I spend most of the time just removing the bulk from the nails, reducing the length and the prep. That was like the longest. It took me the longest, that part right there. The application wasn't really that long. Um, and then of course, just filing didn't take long at all because the application was that good. So make sure to, you know, do your prep properly, apply the products properly, and that way you get better results. So on this nail, I did have a little bit of lifting and that's what I keep going back to that same spot. And I'm, be I'm being very gentle, um, but unfortunately you can't really see it. I'm sorry, um, but yeah, I mean, it's a good thing because that means that my prep routine is working. So whatever little lifting I have, it's very minimum. So I have really no complaints. It This has worked for me forever like ever since I, I i i started doing this routine there's different ways to do it like i said people do it differently they have different steps extra or less steps and the results are the same so everything is really how comfortable you feel and which um <clears throat> which method works uh the best for you so like I was mentioning earlier, you have to make sure to clean your nails. So I'm using isopropyl alcohol to remove the dust from the nails and making sure that there's no dust anywhere on that cuticle area. My next step is going to be applying the dehydrator. This is another big, big thing to do. You need to apply dehydrator. Um, so I do have the dehydrator from her brand but if you don't have it and you have another brand then go ahead and use it some people use dehydrator and primer i only do the dehydrator because if i really don't need to use a primer like the rubber base gel is absolutely amazing does a wonderful job for me uh, and also the dehydrator so i don't need to do any extra steps so now i'm gonna go in with the rubber base gel when you go in with the rubber base gel, make sure that you are not using too much product because if you do, that is going to run towards your cuticle area and towards your side walls. And if it gets to your skin, one, you can develop allergies and two, you're definitely going to have lifting because it is not where it's supposed to be. This is only supposed to go on your nails, not your skin. Um, or your cuticle area make sure that you don't really have a lot of product make sure that you really rub that rubber base gel uh, onto your nail and I do apply it to the entire nail I've never had any issues with it um, whatsoever so once I finish doing this to the nails here is a trick um, you can um, cure this for um, 90 seconds using the 90 second button the reason for that is because that's going to uh, gradually, you know, cure the rubber base gel to your nails without the heat spike. I know that's not a pleasant feeling at all. So that's the reason why I'm saying just do the 90 second button and put your hand there and it'll cure just fine without the heat spikes. If you do have heat spikes, it could be that you probably file too much uh, your natural nail so that's one of the things that could happen so right now I'm just showing you that I'm going in with the slip layer this is a very thin layer that I apply just think of it if I, as if you were applying gel polish same amount not not you don't need you don't really need a lot and this is how much product I'm actually going to apply to the nail so when I'm using hard gel, what I like to do is I like to float the product, 
doing circular motions and I don't really get close to my skin. <clears throat> I try to concentrate mostly on the surface of the nail and as I go down I start to thin it out because again you don't want your free itch to be bulky. Now I'm going to go in with a detail brush and I'm going to make sure that I pull that product closer to my uh, side walls and cuticle area without touching it. So what I do next is I'm going to flip my finger upside down for about 10 seconds. This is going to help the gel self level towards the center of the nail and I will show you what it looks like and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. Right now you're just going to see me repeat the same process. If you're not very experienced with hard gel, I would suggest to have like right next to you um, some icy purple alcohol and a clean brush. Um, this is just in case the product reaches your side walls or floods your cuticle area. You want to make sure you remove that before you cure your nail. That way you don't develop allergies, that way um, you know you don't experience any lifting and really the trick to this is that detail brush the detail brush is really gonna help you out and it's not gonna meaning it's gonna make it easier you're not gonna have a messy application and that's the goal here so that's definitely a hack that I learned from TikTok a long time ago and I started doing it and it's worked so far so this is what the nails look like after the application. They look super shiny and that is the tacky layer left behind by the gel. So I'm gonna use the cleanser. I do have her nail cleanser. I love it. I love the scent. It's very nice. Um, so you want to make sure to really remove that sticky layer. Um, why you ask? Because if you don't, then you're going to, it's gonna kind of clog your your or, or gunk your your nail file it doesn't matter if it's a sanding band or if it's a, an actual nail file or whatever it is you're using to um shape your nails it is gonna damage it right right away so you want to make sure you clean that so now i'm gonna go in and just regain the shape um i'm gonna file my side walls my free edge and i'm gonna go over the surface now this part of the video is not really that long because I, I think I only recorded this nail. I didn't want to make the video too, too long. And it didn't really require a lot of filing. As you can see, I'm just going over the nail just to make sure that there's no lumps or bumps on the nail because you tend to have that when you're doing that application. Um, it is normal and this is the part where you fix it. Once I finish with this nail, I'm going to do the same thing off camera to the rest of the nails and then I'll be back to flush that cuticle or seal the cuticle area. So to seal my cuticle area, I'm going to use this drill bit. Uh, this is a fine, um, a five in one fine bit, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> it's a five in one. Anyways, it's not a uh, safety, so you have to be very careful. When I use this drill bit, I am very, very careful, very slow. I do use it at 5,000 RPMs. Um, and this is just to make sure that none of the product is still touching my cuticle area or my side walls or any area of the skin. Um, 
and then you're gonna see me repeat the same process on the rest of the nails and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go back with that sanding band um, and that is my hack <laughs> what I like to do is after I finish uh, you know sealing the cuticle area with this drill bit I will use that other uh, bit the sanding band to kind of really seal it in meaning there's absolutely no product on my skin whatsoever that is the trick for preventing lifting you cannot have product that is still stuck one way or another to the skin because it's gonna lift you know that's exactly how lift happens bad preparation and leaving product stuck to your skin that is how you have lifting so you want to make sure that when you're working on your nails be more careful and pay attention exactly on what you're doing take notes and then you know try to improve your own technique uh, and make it work for you And this is what the nails look like after they've been file shaped and buff and now it's time for that shiny top coat I'm not gonna do anything special uh, for this set because I have to do other videos and I do those other videos on top of this product that is the reason why sometimes they look too bulky um, but I don't regret it because even though I pop those sets off my nails still look beautiful so that really was the point of me you know doing my natural nails after I finish applying the top coat, I will do a full 60 second cure. I absolutely love her products. I 100% recommend them. Definitely go and check out her website. She has a lot of gorgeous items there. Um, you can find bling, you can find other color gels. Um, you can find a lot of things on her website so I definitely recommend them this is the finished look thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one love you bye